Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I would like to call upon Professor Emerita Jan Polger to present Western University's land acknowledgement. Congratulations to all of our graduating students and a warm Western welcome to all of the families and friends celebrating with us today. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that our beautiful Western campus is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, the Lenape, and Attawandaran peoples who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the city of London. The local First Nations communities of this area include Chippewas of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Muncie Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nation communities and a growing Indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and all of the original peoples of Tur Turtle Island, which we call North America. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind, and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded 140 years ago. We welcome you to the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Jonathan Meekins, an acknowledgement of his achievements as an internationally renowned expert in immunology and world authority in the field of surgical infections. As an alumnus of Western's Medical School, we honor you as a distinguished surgical teacher, inspiring and mentoring surgeons around the world. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Professor Emeritus David Gervin, Sulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. Jonathan Meekins. Today we welcome Dr. Jonathan Meekins back to Western to honor his accomplishment as a surgical leader and researcher. Hailing from Montreal, he saw the light and joined our class in London and obtained his medical degree in 1966. On a personal note, our fathers had been classmates in medicine at McGill University graduating in 1936. After graduation, Dr. Meekins interned <coughs> at the Royal Victoria Hospital in Montreal, and then went on to Cincinnati. There he obtained his Doctor of Science <coughs> in Surgical Infection and Immunology with two of the foremost researchers in the field, Dr. Wes Alexander <coughs> and Dr. W. A. Altmeyer. In 1974, Dr. Meekins completed his surgical fellowship at the Royal Victoria Hospital and McGill University. He joined the Faculty of Medicine, rose to Professor of Surgery and Microbiology. He held the Edward W. Archibald Chair of Surgery at McGill and was the Surgeon in Chief at McGill University Health Center. In 2002, <coughs> Dr. Meekins was appointed as the Nuffield Professor of Surgery at Oxford and Head of the Surgical Department. He was the fourth person to ever hold this position <coughs> and the first Canadian. While at Oxford, his research was directed towards evidence-based surgical practice and patient-centered care. 
These studies looked at the application of continuous quality improvement of care and how to introduce new techniques and technologies for patients. Dr. Meekin's research has been in the field of immunology and management of surgical infections. He held research funding from the National Research Council <clears throat> for 15 years, which is quite an accomplishment. His publications exceed 200, with numerous chapters published in textbooks. He has edited and co-edited six books. Dr. Meekins has held executive positions on numerous national and international associations and societies. In 2002, he was made an officer of the Order of Canada. Despite his busy and extensive surgical and research career, he and his wife, Dr. Jacqueline McLaren, have somehow managed to pursue other activities during their careers. They have researched and collected 16th and 17th century Dutch and Flemish etchings throughout Europe and other parts of the world. Their exceptional collection was subject of an exhibit at the Montreal Museum of Fine Art in 2011, with Dr. Meekins providing an extremely insightful commentary accompanying each of the displayed etchings. Together, they have, gener they have, <coughs> they have generously donated some of their works to the museum and a significant collection of Clarence Gagnon's etchings to the Musée de Beaux-Arts de Quebec. Since his retirement, Dr. Meekins <coughs> has taken on the role of head of the Art and Heritage Centre at the new Montreal University Health Centre to help ensure that priceless heritage artifacts are preserved from the Royal Victoria, Chest and Children's Hospitals, which are now closed in Montreal. <coughs> Never one to let grass grow under his feet, Dr. Meekins has recently enrolled as an MA student in the Fine Arts Department at Concordia University. His previous accomplishments did not guarantee his immediate entry into the program, as you might expect, and he was required to complete three undergraduate degrees prior to being accepted. His master's thesis will examine the landscapes of Canadian painter David Milne, depicting camps and battlefields during World War I throughout England and Europe. As a classmate of Dr. Meekins, I am very proud to welcome him and his wife Jacqueline back to Western. He has had a distinguished career in medicine and research, and I could trust we can take some satisfaction knowing that his medical education at Western laid the foundation for his outstanding success. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, upon Jonathan Meekins. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Meekins. On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumnus, Dr. Jonathan Meekins, to address convocation. Mr. Chancellor, President Chakma, fellow graduates, faculty, parents, and friends. I thank you for the honor you do me. I, I'm grateful to Western for my MD in 1966, but particularly for, as the French would say, ma formation, the introduction to the world of medicine, a reflection of what Dr. Gerben was getting. 
today's second degree without having to study or pass a test <laughs> is really the icing on the cake. <laughs> you, the graduates, represent a broad range of disciplines and stages in your educational pathways, including bachelor's degrees from Huron College, master's and doctorates from the School of Graduate and Postgraduate Studies, uh, in a wide range of uh, disciplines, and the bachelor's degrees in kinesiology. I would first like to congratulate you on your achievements, a critical step in realizing the university's motto, veritas e utilitas, truth and usefulness. The idea of usefulness is very rewarding. Secondly, I would like to recognize your graduation with some thoughts which might be of use in your coming journeys. Personally, I have found the preparation for today to be stimulating, demanding thought to provide relevance to you, and it has given me the opportunity to crystallize some ideas about my own voyage to the present time. These observations will, I hope, speak to your accomplishments and be relevant to your future. That having been said, I do believe that free advice is worth what it costs. At any rate, these free ideas will be integrated and intertwined with one of the diversions that kept me productive, beekeeping. The beehive is a single organism being made up of tens of thousands of worker bees in an organized hierarchy, a few drones and the matriarch, a queen. Their activity is towards a common goal, or I like to say better, a common good, which is the survival of the hive through the winter, uh, so that it can reproduce by swarming in the spring and thereby creating another colony, and therefore the hive bifurcates in a sense. No individual bee benefits from the production of honey, but the species does by the creation of a second colony. Opening the hive on a warm June day like today is an existential experience. The bees are going about their business, paying no attention to the human observer. The calm is evident. The sound is middle C. Every bee has a task. There is effectively a promotion system over their short lives as each worker moves through the hierarchy to become a forager. What possible relevance could the beehive be to your upcoming adventures? Well, I believe that the concepts of the common good and professionalism are integral to the function of the hive. Although I have no doubt the bees are unaware that this parallel could be drawn. In looking back, I have always studied my teachers, leaders, and chiefs, starting when I was a student here at Western, through residency, graduate school, and then as a faculty member. Early on, it became apparent that the role models were a helpful roadmap, not only for learning the ropes, interacting with the others, observing problem solving, but also for demonstrating how to comport oneself effectively in a variety of situations. Actually, more important were the models who you did not want to be like, whose style or more often their orientation was directed to their own wants and needs rather than those of their unit or department. Having spent my life in hospitals and universities, I have observed, as I no doubt you have, that not all units, divisions, or departments are of the same quality, are as functional, have common goals, or indeed direction. In these units, it is lead a leadership as well as a follower problem. So that means when working for the common good, the entire unit needs to function in an integrated manner. The entity must be co have coherent vision, sound recruiting, and a leader who is working for the benefit of all. It is remarkable that when a unit does well, everybody does well. Working for the common good has significant benefits for everybody, not unlike the hive, which reproduces by swarming in the spring because of the work of last year's bees, now long dead. 
Plato's student, Aristotle, considered by many to be the father of the idea of a common good, distinguishes between right constitutions, which are in the common interest, and wrong constitutions, which are in the interest of rulers. This dichotomy can easily be seen in today's world on the large political stage. However, Aristotle also applied the idea of a common good to the advantage or benefit of all people in a smaller society or in a group or unit. This easily takes us back to the two different role models outlined earlier, the right and wrong constitutions. Hussein's analogy is the community we associate with good universities like Western. And I quote, the university community is bound together in a social relationship marked by a certain form of mutual concern. This can be applied to all forms of uh, groups. I've always wanted the Department of Surgery in which I was involved to, <laughs> to share the vision of a common group, common good, where the whole was greater than the sum of the parts, like a beehive. As you might imagine, managing surgeons is a bit like herding cats. They are fiercely independent, certain of the way uh, they should do things their way. And uh, the challenge was always to modify individualistic self-serving behavior in return for establishing equitable and fair systems for the distribution of resources, such as operating time, laboratory space, secretarial support, grant support, beds, academic opportunities, and so on, that provided benefit for the department as a whole rather than for particular individuals. It turned out, actually, that that model was possible, both in Montreal and Oxford. And beehives work that way. The concepts related to the common good extend to professionalism. If we can not had complaint, is the apparent general decline in professionalism, egregious examples amongst many being the Arthur Anderson accounting firm and Enron, and the Wall Street banking activities leading to the financial crisis of 2008. Major professional bodies have also been accused of self-serving attitudes. The hallmark of a profession is that society allows professions to be self-regulating. A glance at the website of the College of Kinesiologists of Ontario makes it clear that ethics and disciplinary activities are their responsibility. Society has expressed concern that in many instances the professional body's process was both slow and the penalties modest. The Western Medical School class of 1966 was sufficiently concerned about professionalism in medicine to mark our 50th anniversary of graduation with the creation of a, an award for the student who throughout the curriculum best demonstrated the qualities of professionalism. This was accompanied by a sculpture, now at the entrance to the medical school, highlighting seven Canadians and Hippocrates who exemplified model professional behavior. Three, Banting, Drake, and McWinney, are all closely associated with Western. The creation of the award did three things. The sculpture in the foyer is a daily reminder of the importance of professionalism. The student award recognizes its value publicly, and finally, the faculty must create a component of the student assessment incorporating professionalism. This day has been a rewarding experience for me, remembering the pleasures of beekeeping and its model of social behavior, remembering the concept that if you don't care who gets the credit, it's amazing what you can do, and linking common good with professionalism in a microenvironment to the benefit of all. In addition, I never thought I would read much less quote Rex Tillerson, the recently fired Trump Secretary of State. <coughs> However, in his VMI commencement address, he said, quote, carefully consider the values and cultures of the organization in which you seek to work. Look for employers who set high standards for ethical conduct. These values are clearly related to the common good and professionalism 
while reflecting Veritas, a utilitas, Western's motto. One last B reference. You will catch more flies with honey than vinegar. In closing, congratulations to you all. And in all your future endeavors, may the road rise to meet you and the wind always be at your back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jonathan, for your imaginative, insightful, engaging, and simply a beautiful speech. As a world authority in surgical infections and leader in laparoscope and transplant surgery, your surgical techniques have changed the lives of patients worldwide. You have also served as a teacher and mentor, inspiring new generations of surgeons around the world. And of course, you continue to be a role model par excellence in the pursuit of lifelong learning. Distinguished guest, please join me in congratulating our newest honorary doctor of science, Dr. Jonathan Mickens. Hmm. At this time, I take pleasure in asking the Vice Chancellor to present the recipient of the Marilyn Robinson Award for Excellence in Teaching. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. The Marilyn Robinson Award for Excellence in Teaching was established in 1997. It honors the memory of an enthusiastic and inspirational teacher who was much loved and respected by both colleagues and students. Will Professor Dave Humphreys please Step forward. <laughs> Professor Humphreys joined the School of Kinesiology in 2011 as a limited duty lecturer in sports injuries. Since then, he has made outstanding contributions to student learning and is admired by students, peers, and community partners for his exceptional teaching. He excels at integrating class concepts with ideas and methods the students have learned in, each, in other courses. Dave uses innovative assessment techniques, integrates theory and practice, and connects with students by offering advice beyond the classroom. Testimonials include this from a recent graduate, quote, when I reflect back on my experiences at Western, I credit much of my development to the instruction of Professor Humphreys. He's a talented physiotherapist and lecturer, but his greatest asset lies in his concern to help students excel in his courses, believe in themselves, and have the confidence to apply their knowledge, end of quote. Mr. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you Professor Dave Humphreys, recipient of the Marilyn Robinson Award for excellence in teaching. Will the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates please rise? Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? <clears throat> Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, distinguished guests, convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. 
Today, we honor those graduating students who through determination, hard work, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Western's affiliated colleges, Brescia University College, Huron University College, and King's University College bring a special dimension to the undergraduate experience at Western. They provide a liberal arts college community environment within the larger context of a major research university. Their faculty and students have access to all the resources that a university the scale of Western can provide while enabling them to sustain the academic and social community fostered by their own distinct identities. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing this stage will join a special group known as Western Alumni. That numbers more than 290,000 alumni living in 150 different countries around the world. We are pleased to have Ms. Eileen Denomi representing our Alumni Association. I would ask her to please stand and be recognized. Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Mr. Keith Gibbons, representing our Board of Governors. I would ask him to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Though affiliated with Western, each of the colleges have autonomous governing boards. We have with us today Mr. Ian Jeffries, Chair, Board of Directors for Huron University College, and I'd ask him to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives, and friends of our graduate who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your loving support. Now I ask our graduating class to rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. We will now proceed with the granting of the degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First. As a courtesy to all graduates and their families, please hold your applause and any other special forms of expressions of joy <laughs> until the public auditors signal when applause is appropriate. This will ensure that each graduate's name will be heard. So let me elaborate a bit more why I make this request. Uh, first, we'll grant degrees to the PhD candidates. And once the group is completed, uh, our public auditors will lead us in celebrating our PhD graduates. After that, we'll have three graduates crossing the platform at the same time. So this is where it is important for us to uh, honor my request because we want to hear the names of each of the graduates. So you can imagine that if you start to plod, plod one after the other, we will not be able to hear the name. And then we'll, we'll have to keep you much longer than what we anticipate. So, uh, so again, uh, my request is that uh, you wait for a signal, 
And we know that there will be pent up demands. So when the class size is large, our public auditors will you know, frequently provide us with the opportunity to acknowledge and cheer up the graduates who have crossed this stage. So please uh, take the cue from the public orders. Second, we know that photographs are important for our graduates, their family, and friends. As you heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to provide each graduate with a photograph of this special occasion. So therefore, we ask that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony. Of course, feel free to take pictures from there. I would not like to call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates are from the School of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Ryan Clutterbuck. Benjamin Kajast. Colin William Moore. Aaron Margaret Shellington. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates are for the degree Master of Arts. Corey Crossan, Lauren Elizabeth Crutchlow, Christopher Leo Langdon. Kane McEwen, Siobhan Taylor Smith, Jordan Tyrell. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidate are candidates for the degree Master of Science. Shannon Phyllis Davidson, Dustin Godden, Stephen Robert Harder.
Karishma Hosain, Navina Rebecca Lingham. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from Huron University College for the degree Bachelor of Arts Honors Programs. Anne Margaret Christine Allure, Mackenzie Roy Baker, Hannah Rachel Burney. Joshua Nelson Roberto Bernstein, Madeline Helen Nancy Black, Madison Elizabeth Clark, Joshua Ariel. Eisen, Paul Alexander Giulietti, Tara Hood, Peter Anthony Curry, Elizabeth Larrabee, Ruth Labello Alamau. Taylor Ashton McGoy, Alexander Ian McKenzie, Travis Owen Moore. Kendall Bridget O'Donnell, Simon Willett. Isaac Papson. Matthew Adam Reed Patterson, Maria Petru, Jesse Linnea Strong. Yusung Tian, Lori Eileen Taylor Trelford. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Management and Organizational Studies Honors Program. Sean Anthony Battaglia, Andrew Goldberg, Peter Graham Ernest Hardy. Trevor James Hoyland, Trey Thomas Emerson, Tiffany Marshall.
Shannon McDonald, Michaela Nicole Mihailovic, Sean Morris. Dana Osman, Shoma Ora, Marua, Maria Pucha. Jake Alexander Rotman, Andrew William Stavankovich, Nicola Eleanor Williams. Gabrielle Yun Ho Wong. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts four-year program. Mohanad Aldajan, Madeline Christine Brown, Vanessa Carenza. Kai Ying Maggie Chan, C. Chen, James Davidson. Jack Griffin Hall. Shi Hang Jing, Christiana Noel Carathanasis. Oasis Arbor Capilla, Mohammed Sayud Kayat. Michaela Kiers. Christy Lynn McDonald, Corinne Marie Mayo, Thomas James McMillan. Julia Nicole Nagel, Tasha Janae Pinsano, Jahoy Ren. Chelsea Rutherford. Charles Sandler, Julia Marlene Smith. Selena Jean Stengel, Christopher David Taylor. Kelly Thomas.
Danielle Veal, Amna Zied, Blake Anthony Zagrosi. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Management and Organizational Studies. Shaho Arman, Ji Shen Deng, Azi Eb Gabe. Nicholas Gill, Pedro Herrera, Casey Jameson. Austin Bradley Jones. Wasim Kazar, Daniel Chase Kelly. Jonathan Lee, Karen Lee, Edward McDonald. Mohammed Mustafa Nawar, Toshi Okeda, Duncan Purcell. Taylor Brian Renkin, Michael Sands, Jake Townley Silverthorne. David Peter Taylor. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. Anastasia Adu Agbuna, Aaron Michael Ender, Sean Rachel Fuss. Natasha Goal, Alexandra Grundy Balea, Samantha Mackenzie Jones. Jordan Parfit, Chang Wang.
Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Health Sciences for the degree Bachelor of Arts, Honours Kinesiology. Benjamin Stephen Abnett, Claire Allen, Kavita Alicia Ambu. Rebecca Darer Anderson, Ryan Anderson, Sarah Catherine Arbor. Erica Rose Artuso. Caitlin Attard, Beth Nicole Auger, Heather Joyce Bajant, Hannah Bainya, Danielle Blanchett. Ryan William Bowl, Lauren Hannah Botnick, Jordan Simon Boudreau, Elizabeth Irvine Bradley, Kyla Ann Brady. Charlotte Brasso Ernst. Samantha Buchanan. Madison Maria Cardillo. Larissa Carlucci. Danielle Marie Casavecchia, Taylor Casey, Orly Renee Chapman, Zengwei Chen, Heidi Cheng. Matthew James Christensen. Federico Cisneros Sanchez. Miranda Page Clark. Ryan Anthony Clegg. Briar Baxter Coleman, Jessica Marie Cooper, Daniela Luisa Cousineau, Marcus Crossdale, Iwe Twee. Jonathan Michael Curtis. Mm -hmm. 
Emily Alice Dabrowski, Ini Olawa Timothy Dada, Riley Kristen Dane. Stephen Joseph Dawson, Paula De Leon, Gabriella De Bono, Allison Ann Deary, Hayden Ross da Diamond, Justin Taylor. Diamond. Taylor Debrida, Sydney Alexis DeFrucia, Heather Dollery. Brittany Elizabeth Doors, Natasha Bree Dreska, Huda Alcoli, Sarah Alexandra England, Justin Mitchell Evans. Johan Nicholas Fernandez. Leon Carl Fiedelday. Sarah Rose Elizabeth Francis. Cecilia Fung. Nathaniel Isaiah Gabriel, Natasha Shanti Gandhi, Hannah Nicole Gnasilis. Catherine Ann Gibbons. MR Gokul, Megan Ann Grot, William Goan, Ermina Hodzik, Molly Ray Hansen. Lauren Brittany Heath, Cassandra Marie Henry, Carly Ann Holmes. Cassidy Laura Irving, Courtney Jamison, Davis Christopher Ray Jewett. Thomas Alden Jokinen, Muhammad Kudura, 
Alicia Sydney K. Brian Kim, Leanne Shannon Kirkby, Elise Leah Clarer, Wendy Bronwyn Kruken, Nicholas Patrick Legacy. Rachel Alexandra Lager. Julia Valerie Lenjosek. Egan Chilap Long. Rachel Liu. Brandon Logie Hagen, Lauren Elizabeth Longeri, Samantha Gail Lux, Ho Ching Ma, Mark John McCregor, Jenna. Carolyn McPherson. Shabaz Akram Malik. James Nicholas Martin. Madison McFadden. David Daniel McHugh, Anna Claire McKee, Tessa McLaughlin, Victoria Catherine McLaughlin, Jennifer McNeil, Madison Cassandra Miles. Lisa Eileen Mitchell, Andre Moniz, Caitlin Ray Morton. Thaddeus Daniel Muntdong, Sydney Alexandra Newton, Emily Nguyen, Tammy Nguyen, Elizabeth Sophie Neaton. Griffin Nikor Nicole Elizabeth O'Connor Maxwell Macaulay Ophel Alda O'Grady
Gemma Martina Pachaco, Madison Elizabeth Page, Julia Alexandra Palazzo, Reed Gordon Palmer, Yvonne Penn, Emma Kendall Parno, Tessa Marie Patrickwin, Elizabeth. Patterson Stallwood, gold medalist. Alexander Pollins. Aaron Catherine Pearson. Shane Pepe. Amanda Pereira. Mark Anthony Pereira, Thomas Robert Petrella, Jessica Janet Pettis, This has been a really large group, and let's give these graduates a round of applause. Kevin Pham, Emily Politeski, Pierce Tyler Remler. Courtney Diana Reynolds, Courtney Marie Ryby, William Robinson. Natalie Suzanne Russell, Ashley Robin Saltz, Michelle Salima Sove. Rachel Jacqueline Schick. Chelsea Lane Schmidt, Lucas Shime. Victoria Ann Singh, Matthew David Charles Smith, Morgan Daphne Smith. Nicholas Anthony Sproviero, Isabel St. George, Danielle Starkman. Logan David Strasser, Carolyn Christina Strizel, Emily Catherine Stirrup. Okay. 
Jedson Joseph Tavernier, Dominique Olivia Tursigny, Brooke Ashley Tomei. Vanessa Hikwe C, Emily Turchin, Ashley Ann Marie Turjan. Felissa oh. Valente, Tessa Volbrit, Liam Walker. Dagmar Grace Walston, David Ryan White, Jacqueline White. Eric Nicholas Wilhelm, Harrison Scott Williams, Lucas Yili Wong. Guffey Wu, Yudi Wu, Nicole Amber Youssef. Marcus Yu, Nicholas Allen Zandberg. Asher Zeldin. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science, Honours Kinesiology. Nikita Badiani, Jessa Marina Buckman Pearl, David Ezra Carmana. Adam Chablis, Joshua William Cohen, Nicola Victoria Critch. <laughs> Stephanie Francis Cullen, gold medalist. Lily Dong. Marcus Joseph Alphonse Dussault. Brooke Dawn Edwardson, David Austin Kale Elkin, Mackenzie Fraser Ferguson. Nicole Rose Filler, Thomas Gibson, Emma Catherine Goddard. Uh, 
Alexander Joseph Good, Gersaraj Singh Grewal, Braden Davis Halverson. Tyler David Hastings, Veronica Jane Hatcher, Eric Thomas Hedge, gold medalist. Marjorie Ann Hertrebees, Moea Oala Ifabi, Kristen Lily Michelle Jensen. <laughs> Mohammed Azim Kamalia, Sarah Nicole Klemensik. Bryce Knapp. <laughs> Sophia Gabrielle Labarge, Megan Elaine Rulu, Kian Madi. Melissa Page Marentet, Nicole Markick, Sophie Rachel Mason. Morgan Blair McWaters, Andrea Rochelle. Manil, Carissa King Ng Ong. <laughs> Julia Roth, Lawson Harvey Seddon, Tate William Simpson. Sabrina Tamburi, Carly Marie Tigert, Omar Turk. Joshua Ryan Walt, Angie Wang, Justin Yuan. Sierra Rorai, Rachel Amanda Zevi. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts, four year program kinesiology. Keegan Lee Anderson, Laura Jean Andricola, Ambika Bizari.
Theron Chan, Dominic Puchung Chan, Stephanie Sarah Grabachik. Patrick Aaron Lafhagen, Jessica K. Osman, Jessica Georgia Patches. David Robert Salvati, Joel Alexander Steinbeck, Monica Toe. <laughs> Christina Tasaltis, Ramia Varhees, Adriana Ida Westerhoff. Emily Williams. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts three-year program. Rebecca Lynn Bonnie Rear, Alexandra Spidelia. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Ms. Eileen Denemy, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Thank you, Chancellor. My fellow graduates, it is my great honor and privilege on behalf of Western's Alumni Association to congratulate you and to welcome you. You have worked hard, very hard, to complete your studies and examinations, and today you received your well-earned degrees. Western, our faculties and affiliated university colleges are very proud of its world-class standing, and we know that you share that pride as graduates of our undergraduate and graduate programs. Now all of you join our growing global community of Western alumni. We are all united by the Western experience. Our cherished memories of our times here, particularly of the knowledge and the friendships gained. You'll find your Western experience continues as alumni and I encourage you to remain purple and proud by participating very actively as alumni cultivating the strengths and global reputation of our alma mater. It is my pleasure to invite you and your guests to attend a reception in your honor to be held in the University Community Center in the Mustang Lounge immediately following the convocation where refreshments will be served and where you will receive your 2018 class pin. To you, your friends and families, Enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve and earn today. And remember, wherever life takes you, Western will always be home. Thank you.
Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned.